Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. So today I am going to be doing um, a set that I've already done on a person, but I didn't film it. So the backstory to it is my brother's girlfriend is pregnant. Um, at this point in time, she's very heavily pregnant. Um, she's actually due to have the baby within the next week. Um, so today is the 31st of July. So by the time you see this video, she might have actually already had the baby or will be even closer to having it. I'm not sure yet because I don't know when this is going to go up, but I did her basically like giving birth nails um earlier today and absolutely loved the set but she wasn't feeling too great when she came in i was going to film them um just because it's exciting but she wasn't feeling too great so i thought you know what i'll do her nails like get her done as quick as possible so she can feel a bit better and just chill out at home and stuff and then i will do a separate video with the same set for this like for a video for the channel so that is what i'm doing i am recreating her um baby set obviously but the thing is she doesn't know whether she's having a boy or a girl so we wanted to incorporate blue and pink so that is why this set is both so the colors i'm going to be using are we've got a glitter from um sparkle supplies uk this is what it looks like it's called pinko it's absolutely beautiful and we've got azure crush which is a pre mixed glitter from tears beauty and then colours wise, we've got Igloo, which is a coloured acrylic from Tears Beauty. And then also Pink Tutu, which is obviously also another coloured acrylic. So they're what we're going to be using. I'm also going to be using Crystal Clear, which is also, of course, from Tears. So I'm just going to get all these ready and then we're going to go ahead with the set. So it's really, really simple. Um, I am going to add a couple of extra bits into this set. The reason that I didn't for her nails was because we didn't want to go too overboard because like I said she wasn't feeling great and also I just thought they looked better a little bit better without because her nails were really short obviously because she's going to have a baby to look after but in this set I am going to add some butterflies so we're going to use these ones and these ones they are absolutely beautiful so I'm just going to get all this ready and then we can get straight into it so the first nail is going to be super easy it's literally just going to be a full glitter nail with some butterflies so i'm just going to tip some of these butterflies out onto my paper towel so i can pick them up when i need them instead of having to worry about getting them while the acrylic is setting so i'm going to put the pink ones in the blue and the blue ones in the pink just to mix it up a little bit so i've just popped a couple of those out so this one is just going to be a full blue glitter nail. So I'm just going to place, obviously, if this was on a client like I did with her nails, I would have put a clear base down um, just so the nail doesn't get stained. And also when it's time for a new set, well, when it's time for an infill or rebalance, or whatever, um, I've got something to file back to. So with this, obviously, I'm not doing that because it is just a practice tip. But just bear that in mind, that's what I would do if that was the case. So then we're just going to go into Azure Crush and we're going to place that over the whole nail. It's an absolutely beautiful glitter. I really, really love this one. And we're working thin because obviously with acrylic designs, we've got the clear base already usually. We've got the base of the colour. We've got the, the glitter and then we're also going to have the clear over the top. So we don't want to go too crazy and have too many really thick layers. So we're working thin with them all and then obviously I won't have an apex on these nails because they are just display tips but if it was a client I'd create the apex with my clear afterwards and you also don't want to waste your coloured acrylic and pre mixed glitters either so always go in with the clear to build your structure and then once we've done that while it's still setting I'm then going to pick up some butterflies we're just going to pop those randomly throughout the nail and have them on a slight angle I'm going to put four on. I'm just going to put one more right down the bottom. Turn him around a little bit and him. There we go. So that's the first nail. Super, super easy set this is. For the next nail, we're going to do the exact same, but the total opposite. So it's going to be pink with blue butterflies. Um, so I'm just going to pop my pink underneath. This is pink tutu. It's my absolutely all-time favourite, like, baby pink acrylic. It's absolutely beautiful. I did an ombre with it the other day. Totally forgot to take a picture of it because me and my client were gossiping and I was really gutted because I absolutely loved how it turned out but I just didn't get around to taking a photo which is a bit annoying but it's one of those totally forgot to open this glitter I think I might use a different glitter for this actually I've decided I'm going to use this glitter because it's slightly brighter we didn't want bright with um my brother's girlfriend's nails but obviously this isn't actually going on anyone so why not so I'm using this one instead change my mind slightly just because you know 
I do want to do the same set because I loved it, but it's nice to mix it up a little bit. So we're going to go something slightly darker. So I'm just dipping into my clear acrylic and then I'm picking up this acrylic, this uh, glitter with my brush while it's got the wet clear on it. And then I'm just going to spread that over the whole nail. I'm not bothered about it being like really full on full coverage. Um, I just want it to be like majority full. I'm not bothered about every single like part of the nail being covered. So I'm not too, I'm not being too careful about making sure about that. And then I'm just making sure to spread that evenly. Again, still working thin because you'd be building your apex with the clear afterwards. You don't want to waste glitter. I absolutely love this glitter. I've not used it yet, which is why I had this one in mind. Um, but I didn't want to use a really chunky glitter on her nails because obviously because she was having short square, the chunky would have just been a bit too much, especially because we're going to do a glitter ombre with the two colours. Um, so it wouldn't have left a hell of a lot of space to be able to fit all that in. But now we're doing it on these long nails and it's not actually on a person anyway. thought might as well do something slightly different just to mix it up a little bit. Absolutely love this glitter though. It's beautiful. I think this is from the flower collection from Sparkle Supplies UK. And also don't forget that every time you order from there, you can use my discount code for 15% off. And considering how cheap Sparkle Supplies UK is anyway, like 15% off is a huge saving. Like it's amazing. So that's that nail. And then I'm just going to pop again the butterflies on. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of clear. And this time we're going in with the blue butterflies. Just popping a little bit of clear down because obviously with a pre glitter it's a bit different. The clear is actually in the glitter itself. Whereas when I'm applying glitter with clear acrylic, like when it's loose glitter, it's not quite the same. So I am just applying a little bit more over the top. Wonderful. I'm just moving it all up a little bit. I've gone a bit too far down. There you go, happy with that. So that's basically the opposite of the other nail. We're then just going to go in, I should have used a darker pink really knowing now that I'm using a, a darker pink glitter. Okay, so I have changed the acrylic powder that I'm using. I'm now using blush instead, still from Tears Beauty and that's what that looks like. It's absolutely beautiful. So going in with that one. So this time we are now going to do a glitter ombre. So I'm going to do an ombre with the colours as I normally would first. So I'm just gonna place the blue, I'm gonna do pink into blue. So I'm just gonna place the blue here. And I'm just gonna pull it back a little bit. This is the best part of doing an ombre with glitters is you just don't have to get that perfect blend underneath because it'll be the glitters that blend together, not really the colors as such. So I'm just going to make sure that is all nice and covered. I mainly put color underneath glitters just to make sure that basically if there's any slight like i don't know like little gaps in the glitter where there's no like there's no glitter there because it's this tiny gap or anything if there's a color similar to the glitter underneath it won't matter um because obviously you'll be able to see the color underneath through it so it's not an issue so i'm just making sure to make just making sure that all the areas are covered with a bit of color really thin layer again then I'm going to go over with the glitters. So first of all, I'm getting Azure Crush and I'm placing it in the middle. Just going to pull it up, not in any specific way, just making sure that it's nice and blended. Oh, I've just picked up some butterflies by accident. Just going to get rid of those for now. I am going to use those, but just in a second. Just make sure that everywhere is nice and covered with the glitter. And then I'm going to get the other glitter at the top half. Place that right at the top. Obviously at the cuticle area, which is where this would be if it was a person, you want it to be nice and dense with glitter. And then as we go down and we blend the two together, we can sort of like thin it out a little. Keep accidentally picking these butterflies up. So still working thin. And then in the middle, I do get some of the pink and I'll just place that further down. I'm not making sure that like my my brush is absolutely full of glitter like I do when I do the cuticle bead. 
because I'm not too bothered about there being loads and loads on there because like it, it does blend out slightly better if there's less on there so I'm just going to get one more bead of a really tiny amount of the pink glitter I'm going to place it in the middle and just brush it down and then I'm going to get some of the Azure Crush I'm going to put that in the middle and I'm going to blend it up so we've got some of the pink coming over the blue and then some of the blue going over the pink and it just creates the perfect blend and then the top half we're going to have a butterfly up here that is blue preferably the right way round and then one a little bit further down but still in the pink area that is still blue and then when we get further down we're going to use the pink ones on the blue area a little bit further down there we go and then one at the very bottom still on the blue but we're going to use a pink butterfly and that is that super super easy very effective and then so this is where we're up to so far we've got these three nails very cute I'm very excited to top coat them already and I'm not even finished yet and then the other two nails are going to be marble so I'm only going to film doing one of them then I will cap and file off camera and then we'll be able to come back and file them together um to top coat them together sorry so I'm just going to get some of the blue and I'm just going to place that in the top corner marble like doing the cuticle area on a nail that's not actually a person is obviously a lot better but this is usually how I do it on a person is just get that cuticle area full of colour like it doesn't matter about them blending together or anything like that just make sure that there is colour there and then obviously that's when we can go in with our wet beads of acrylic and just pull them through each other you don't want to pull them through too much because you will just create another colour sort of thing and obviously that's not what we're doing we want the two colours to be prominent but you need to marble them enough so you've not got big big patches of one colour and then another colour. You want them to go through each other. If you go through too much, you will end up just creating a new one. And then I'm just going to pop a little bit of blue down the bottom here. I'm not too bothered about making this bottom area really full coverage because we are going to add some glitter. So I'm just going to pop a bit of the pink glitter at the bottom. Just a few specks. And then I'll pop some of Azure Crush at the top where this bit of blue is. Again, still working thin. Oh, we're losing focus. There we go. And then I'm going to dip into the clear. I'm going to go into my pink and we're just going to pop that right through the middle. I'm being really gentle because this marble still hasn't set yet and we don't want to move the marble around by adding glitter so just be careful and then going into the blue and I'm going to pop that at the same place and I'm just going to get some more of the blue bring this down a bit further down here and then take the pink a little bit further up at the top to get a few specks between there so you can see both colours and then that is it for that nail super super easy like I said obviously you could put more glitter on if you want but I think that's plenty so I'm just going to stick with that amount so now I'm just going to do the other marble nail the exact same as this one and then I'm going to file them well I'm going to cap them and file them off camera and then I will come back and join you here for us to top coat okay we're back and we're going to top coat so this is the first nail I'm so excited to see them I love it I mean I don't know why I'm so surprised I literally used this like probably like an hour and a half ago for a set so I know exactly what it's going to look like but it's still beautiful so that is the first nail and then next up we've got a marble nail I love it beautiful and then next up we've got the ombre, glitter ombre. I'm so excited to see this. And I can get excited. Oh gosh, I'm really sorry. I'm eating a mint and I've nearly just spat it out by accident. <laughs> um, I can get excited about this one because obviously I haven't actually seen these two colours together because in the last set that I did on my brother's girlfriend, I didn't use this pink. But look how beautiful they are. 
I love it. And then we've got another marble, so we're just going to speed through this one because obviously we've already done one. And they look very, very similar. I'm using the lipstick series from Model One's top coat because it's actually very helpful to have like the long stem for nails this long. Look how beautiful they are. So yeah, I'm using I'm using that top coat but this is the pink look how beautiful that is compared to when it's not got any top coat on it's crazy it's almost magical beautiful so let's just have a look at them all this is what they look like just before they go into the lamp i'm just going to pop them in the lamp and then we'll have a proper look at them when we take them out and here is the finished set i'm really really happy with how they turned out um they are so beautiful look at how those glitters reflect I really, really love Azure Crush. This blue glitter is beautiful. The butterflies also, by the way, I think I forgot to mention where they're from. I think they're from Sheen. Um, if not, then they're Amazon. Just something like that. But yeah, I really like how these turned out, actually. They are beautiful. Love this pink. Um, I'm glad that I decided to do it with that to see the difference. But yeah, so I hope you liked these as well. Um, and... Yeah, I can't wait to see whether I have a niece or a nephew this time next week. Um, thank you so much for watching as always and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye!